It's 2024, and what is the best HF radio coming into this year if you're a newly licensed general ham radio operator, general or extra, really. The general is the first one where you get HF privileges. If you're newly licensed or if you're looking to upgrade to general, I'm going to tell you about the best HF radio that you can get in the beginning of 2024. So let's take a look right now. Now, it is the beginning of 2024. We don't know what is to come yet this year, but hey, that's okay because if you get licensed today or you got licensed last month, maybe you got some study material for Christmas or New Year's or your birthday if you're Frank and your birthday is January 1st. So what's the best HF radio you can buy right now in the very beginning of 2024? I'm going to give you my top seven radio choices, and all of these are under $2,000. So we can get into some high dollar stuff in a later video, but today we're going to talk about everything that's under $2,000. Now, typically what I like to recommend on these videos are 100 watt models. Radios that are 100 watts on single sideband, 100 watts on FT8, probably 40 to 60 watts on AM, something like that. 100 watt radios, what we call barefoot or full power radios. Barefoot meaning no amplifier, full power meaning that's usually the best you can get in a radio. But today I'm going to start with the Zygu G90. Now the Zygu G90 is sort of a QRP radio. Most contests will consider QRP 10 watts or less. This is a 20 watt radio. It's been out for several years. It's a popular radio with these with this CE19 expansion piece right here, this blue piece in the middle right here. You can interface it to a computer and you can do digital modes like FT8, uh, PSK, and, and the Whisper and this other stuff. So you can you can always put that together with it. It does have a removable face. You can remotely mount it and uh, put the face here and put the body over here. It's got a lot of accessories because it's been out for a few years. And it's just a really popular radio. It's going to come in at the lowest price today. Now, this radio right now is listed for $445. Back during Black Friday and Christmas sales last month, we were able to get this radio for just under 400 375 to 395 something like that depending on what you want to do you might be able to wait you can wait for like a spring break sale or a Dayton Hamvention sale in May if you want to and if not you know 445 I, I kind of browsed around and found the best price this is the best price I can find on it today but check prices check your amateur radio stores even check Amazon see what the best price is this is on Radioddity's website right here you can save a $15 discount on most purchases over about $60 with a coupon code that they give me to give to you my viewers so I'll put that Radioddity coupon in the description below be sure to check that out but the G90 is a 20 watt single sideband upper sideband lower sideband AM I think it does FM on 10 meters it will do 160 meters to 10 meters it has an output maximum power of 20 watts and the reason a lot of people like it is because it's small compact it's lightweight does not have a built-in battery does not have a built-in sound card Zygu has some of the best antenna tuners that are out there so if you have a compromised antenna or if you're trying to tune up something weird like a ladder or a deer stand Zygu will a lot of times tune up a lot of stuff that's not really supposed to be tunable so Zygu radios the G90 the X6100 the X5105, all of these, all of these Zygu radios have very great built-in tuners. So that's one plus that it has for it. And just because of the price point, it's a good starting point. You can make contacts all over the world with 20 watts, especially if you're at parks on the air or maybe field day. You don't need 100 watts. It is easier to use 100 watts. I personally like 100 watts. 100 watts is a good starting point. A lot of people will ask if a QRP is a radio is a good starting point for your first HF radio. And I always say that if you understand what QRP is and you want to accept the challenge, then sure. But if all you want to do is just get on the air and get your first HF experience actually making contacts, 100 watts might be a little bit better for you. Again, this one comes in today at 445. The seven radios we're going to talk about today, we're going to start at the lowest price, and we're going to go to the highest price of all the radios we're going to talk about today. Number six is one of my favorite radios that's out right now, which is the Yezu FT891. Now, let me explain something real quick. The Yezu FT891 is, at this time, at this time in January 2024, it is unique in the fact that it is a full power 100 watt radio that's actually compact and small enough to be a mobile, what I, what I would consider a mobile HF radio. There's one more radio we're going to talk about today that sort of somewhat kind of a little bit fits that bill and I'll get to that one shortly. But this one today is 669.95 at rnl.com. RNL is a sponsor of this show. He has been for several years. If you guys shop at RNL, be sure that you tell him that you heard about his store on Ham Radio 2.0. Uh, I don't get anything for that. Uh, he's a sponsor, but I don't get anything extra for that. But you guys, uh, you guys go out there and let him know if, if you end up shopping with him. 
But the Yezu FT891 is great because it's 100 watts, does not have a built-in tuner, does not have a built-in sound card. It does sideband, has some really good filtering, notch filtering, and uh, roofing filter. I think roofing filters for... Uh, it has a good DNR digital noise reduction that's uh, built into a lot of different Yezu radios. But it has... It's small and compact. It's the smallest radio. It's probably just a touch uh, larger than the Zygu radio we just spoke about. Maybe a little bit, little bit wider. But it's made to be mobile. It comes with a mobile mounting bracket. It's made to be mounted in a mobile. has a separatable face that you can attach to the body or you can mount remotely uh, with just a regular old Cat5 cable that goes between the face and the body. Very easy to set up. Very easy. It can, uh, there's several man packs out there. We can get like a portable man pack, put a battery in the radio in a man pack and go out to POTA or take it even up on, put it in your carry-on to take on an airplane, something like that if you're flying to another state to do POTA or do some sort of ham radio activation. But it's the only radio in its class that's currently in production right now. Kenwood and ICOM used to have radios that were in production that kind of fit this same model and they pretty much all of those have been discontinued. So the Yezu FT891, smallest, most compact, lightest weight, 100 watt radio that we're going to talk about today. 669 is the price over at rnl.com. You guys go check that in the description below. The next one we're going to talk about, number five, this one was actually just released last year. Now, in 2023. Now, I will say this. Yezu is running a sale, and I'm going to do my best to get this video posted by the end of January. Yezu is running a sale until the end of January that gives you $1 to $200 off of most of their radios. The 891 we just spoke about is not on Yezu's sale right now, but this one, the FT710 is. $879, $200 coupon has been applied to the above price. Coupon is valid through January 31st, 2024. The, FTN7, the FT710 field radio which comes in at 879 and it's uh it's counterpart the FT710 AESS radio which comes in at 929 the field radio does not come with the external speaker that uh, mounts to either side of the radio you can mount it to either side of the radio it's a, a larger more robust sounding speaker that's made to sit on your desk in your ham shack okay so the field radio is made to go in the field and it's just less stuff to carry so it doesn't come with the speaker you can add the speaker to it later and it has a carrying handle on the side of the radio so it's a little bit easier to carry this is a small and compact radio larger than the 891 but smaller than most everything else we're going to talk about today so it doesn't really need a handle it's not really heavy but it has that as an extra additive for for carrying around in the field the FT710 uh, AESS and the field are the newest lineup in the Yezu line of HF radios. Again, just released in 2023. Some of the best filtering, some of the best sounding audio, both transmit and receive audio, built-in tuner, built-in sound card, plug and play into the computer. You can use digital modes like FT8, Whisper, PSK, and all this kind of good stuff. Great radio. If I had to pick one radio out of everything we talk about today, Unless it's going to be an eight, unless you really need a compact radio, which I would recommend the 891. If you're interested in doing FT8 digital modes or anything like that, this is probably the radio I would recommend to most people, especially right now that the Yezu sale is going on, $879. And again, its counterpart is the FT710. Does not come with the carrying handle on the side, comes with the extra speaker, which is about a $120 speaker. Takes advantage of the AESS, which is the acoustical enhanced sound system, speaker system, something like that. I had John Crook from Yezu onto the show when this radio was brand new, and he talked about how that all worked together. Basically, it's like a surround sound that you can adjust to make the sounds over to the left or right, make it sound like it's uh, behind you whatnot. It's kind of a neat sounding system. Works great in a ham shack, probably not so great in the field because depending on what's going on around you, you're not in a controlled environment when you're in the field, so probably not as good there. That's why the field radio doesn't include the speaker. But if you want to take the speaker put it on your desk at home and take the field radio out to the field and bring it back and put it uh, attached to the speaker at home you can certainly do that so the ft710 some of the best since it's newest technology it's got some of the best sounding audio both transmit and receive audio some of the best filtering the great display easy to read display from uh yezu this is number five and number four today now if you are looking at getting your ham radio license or are you looking at upgrading to general from technician i highly recommend ham radio prep ham radio prep is the sponsor of today's video and you can always save a 20 percent discount on all of their courses with the coupon code of jason20 now they have this level one if you're just if you've not got any license yet at all you can get a level one but i usually recommend someone get these bundle packages the level one and two is 55 dollars you can get 20 percent off with the code of jason20 for that 
And then the All Access Pass gives you Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, which is Technician, General, and Extra. And all for $79. Plus, they give you a Balfane Basics course. They include that in there. And then you can get 20% off of that price for with the coupon code of Jason20. Download their app on your smartphone today for free. Get started studying for free. Free app from Ham Radio Prep. Tell them thank you for sponsoring this video. Number three is a radio that you've probably heard of because it's been out for a while now, almost 10 years, I think, at this point in time. The ICOM IC7300, one of the best HF radios on the market today. A larger display than the two Yezu, well, the three Yezu radios we just talked about. The largest display that we've talked about so far, actually. The ICOM IC7300 was out for, I don't know, like I said, eight or 10 years at this point in time. It's still one of the best radios out there, one of the most widely used radios out there. Once you get on the air and start working HF, you're going to hear people that are talking on 7300s. They were popular for a long, long time. Prior to COVID, you could get this radio for just under $900 during some Black Friday and Christmas sales in 2019. And then when COVID happened, shortages happened, chip factories caught on fire, all this kind of crap. It affected everyone in every industry, ham radio included, and prices on everything kind of went up after that. But right now, this radio is $1099 from Gigaparts, $9.99 after a mail-in rebate, so you can get it for just under $1,000, under $1,000 before tax. Has a great waterfall, great looking display, built-in tuner, built-in sound card, 100 watts, plug and play for digital modes, just like the uh, the last Yezu we talked about was. It is a great radio. If you do, Some people don't like the menu systems of the Yezu radios, and that's okay. Once you get used to them, I don't think they're that bad. Most ICOMs have kind of the same menu system, so if, if that's what you're used to, then the 7300 might be better for you, but most, most of the... U Newer Yezus also have the same menu system, so it kind of depends on what you're used to. I think the ICOM menu system is a little bit easier to navigate, a little bit easier to kind of figure out where you want to go and see what you want to see, that kind of thing. The 7300 is one of the few radios today that has a built-in sound recorder, so if you go out to Parks on the Air, you want to call CQ, CQ, CQ Parks on the Air. This is Kilo Trolley 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Calling CQ Parks on the Air from this park at this state, CQ Poda. You can record that and play it back so that you don't have to keep repeating the same thing over and over again until people start calling back to you. Then you just pick up the mic and say, hey, how's it going? Yeah, you're 5'9 into this park and that kind of thing. But the ICOM has that record feature. The ICOM also has a repeat feature where you can press and hold the button to play your recording and it'll keep playing it until you interrupt it by quick keying the, the PTT on the mic. So 100 watt unit, uh, latest F SDR, all of HF and 50 megahertz for six meters, 100 watts of power output received from 0, 0, 0 0.030 to 74.8 megahertz, receive only above the ham bands. Uh, operate single sideband, CW, RIDI, AM, and FM modes. Usually when these radios say RIDI, they're talking about all digital modes. You can plug it into a computer, use FT8, PSK, Whisper, and all this kind of good stuff too. So the ICOM IC7300 has been on my list for the last two or three years and probably will continue to be so as long as it stays in production re-released this year and quite frankly i don't think this one is worth the price let me explain okay this is an icom ic7100 that's two renditions older than the ic7300 we just looked at and it's a hundred dollars more now let me explain why this radio a couple years ago they discontinued this radio a year and a half ish ago something like that and then they re-released re it a few months ago and as far as i can tell they didn't do anything different to it i spoke about the ft891 how it was the smallest lightest most compact radio this radio is about the same size the reason the thing that the ft891 has over this radio is this radio has the detachable face as you see here in the picture you cannot attach the face to the body so you have to remotely mount the head and it's got that weird bezeled shape on it so some people with compact cars or with man packs or something like you want to put it in a backpack and hike up a hill with it probably not conducive to do that the head does have a tripod mount on the bottom of it so you can put it on a tripod mount that may be on some kind of customized mount in your vehicle like i use in my vehicle or put it on a tripod if you want to sit it on a, a little tripod you sit it on a table when you're doing parks on the air it worked great for that but it has the black and white screen it is a touch screen which okay touch screen's okay i guess the thing that this adds to the table is it includes not only hf and six meters but it includes vhf and and uhf the two meter band and the 70 centimeter band all mode not just fm for working repeaters and simplex but all mode so you can do some two meter single sideband two meter uh cw two meter ft8 it'll plug into a computer you can plug and play uh with the with the sound card in it so if you're a technician 
and looking to upgrade to HF to a general soon, but you haven't done it yet, this one offers you some uh, some features you can use right now as a technician, which include the VHF and UHF band, not just FM for repeaters, but also single sideband, CW if you know Morse code, most technicians don't, that's okay, but you can plug it in and do some 2 meter FT8 with it. You can do some 2 meter single sideband with it. Those are really fun modes to be on that I've, I've done many times myself. So that with if you're interested in the all mode vhf uhf then that and it also adds d star to the mix it also has d star d star is a digital voice mode that's used on a lot of repeaters throughout the united states and throughout asia and and europe as well one of the top three digital modes that we have in amateur radio today this one will do d star as well so it'll do d star vhf uhf all mode six meter all mode and of course all of hf so it's it's like a shack in a box, adds a lot of uh, extra features that most of the other radios we're talking about today don't have. And it comes in $11.99 right now at the Gigaparts website. Now, number one, actually, I have a bonus for you. So stick around for the bonus because I have a bonus. I said I said I had seven, I actually have eight because I don't know how to count. So number one is the, is the Yezu version kind of of the ICOM we just looked at. This is an IC7100. This body you can see in the back of the 7100 is about the same size as the body as the Yezu FT891. This one, this 991, is larger, really kind of made for a desktop to use in a ham shack, use at a base station. Not really made to go mobile, although I do know people who have put this one in their vehicle. This is Yezu's version of the 7100. It has HF, um, it has 6 meter, it has 2 meters and 70 centimeters all mode, and it has the Yezu System Fusion, Yezu's digital voice mode, which is different than D-Star. Two different voice modes. D-Star won't talk to Yezu's digital voice, and uh, Yezu's digital voice won't talk to anything else like DMR or D-Star. So there's different digital voice modes. I've got a video on digital voice modes. I'll put that right up here somewhere along in this video so that you guys can go watch that video if you want to. But the Yezu FT991 is a little bit newer than the 7100. It is larger and heavier, made for a, a ham shack or home base station. It has a little bit larger screen than the 7100 does, and it is colored. It has a t color screen. Built-in tuner, built-in sound card, all the bells and whistles like that. And it has the VHF, UHF all mode, similar to the icon we just spoke about. So that's the Yezu version if you're wanting to go the Yezu route. Now, the last and final radio we're going to talk about today is my personal favorite under the $2,000 mark. And that is going to be the Yezu FTDX10. The FTDX10 is basically Yezu's flagship radio right now. It's called a Yezu FT101 Delta. And it is about a thirty-two to thirty-three hundred dollar radio, something like that, somewhere in the mid three thousands. The price fluctuates now and then. This is basically that same radio for a third of the price. This one comes in at thirteen fifty-nine at rnl.com right now. Hundred dollar coupon has been applied. This is uh, again the the Yezu coupon that is uh, valid through the end of January. By the way, the nine ninety one that we just spoke about doesn't have the Yezu coupon applied. The Yezu coupon doesn't apply to everything, but it does apply to the FTDX ten at least till the end of this month. The FTDX the X10 is basically professional grade radio with two or three very specialized filters and features taken out of it that only a competition grade amateur operator would use in the FT-101D. So this is the radio of choice. This has a larger screen than the 991, about the same size screen as the 7300. It's a little bit newer than the 7300. In my book, I would kind of pit this one against the 7300, and I think this one wins a little bit on filtering. The FT710 and the 7300 a little bit more close, in my opinion. But this one has excellent filtering, great audio quality, both transmit and receive, all the bells and whistles, larger screen, touch screen, display, voice recorder, built-in sound card, built-in tuner. This is the radio that I take with me when I go to Parks on the Air. I have a 7300 and I love it. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to keep it. But I haven't picked up my 7300 since I got my FTDX10. The FTDX10 is about five, four or five years newer than the 7300. Prior to the FTDX10 coming out, I was using the 7300 to do most of my activations for field day and parks in the air. Then the FT710 came, or FTDX10 came out, and I waited like six months before I got mine. And ever since, I've been using it because it's my favorite radio that I have in my, my arsenal right now as far as portable sub-$2,000 HF radio. So FTDX10, $1,359 right now, $100 off coupon. So those are the top seven, actually top eight. We had a bonus. Seven plus one. <laughs> so those are my top eight HF radios under $2,000 for the beginning of 2024. I wonder what we will see come out this year. Keep watching the channel and subscribe if you liked this video, and we'll do a follow-up to this video towards the end of 2024, 73.